6. How Saints Change Lives Saints sing the praises of the masters because they take into their lap the worthless, the sinful, and the impure and transform them into gems of purest light. Discourses on St. Mat. Once, during the rainy season, a group of holy men came to Kabir Saab's house. There was not a scrap of bread in the house, nor did Kabir have even one coin in his pocket. Kabir was a weaver by trade and had been unable to sell any of his cloth because it was the monsoon season. He asked his wife, Mai Loi, if she could buy some provisions on credit, as they could always clear the debt later. But the difficulty was, who would give credit to a poor weaver without a steady income? My loy went from grocer to grocer without any luck. In the end, one grocer did agree to give her rations on credit, but, not knowing who she was, he put the condition that she spend the night with him. My loy was upset by his lecherous intentions, but did not say anything. She brought the rations home and told Kabir about the deal that the merchant had proposed. That night, Kabir reminded Mai Loi about her promise to the merchant. He consoled her by saying that everything would be fine. As she was ready to leave for the grocer's place, he told her, It is raining and the path is full of puddles. Wrap a blanket around yourself and I shall carry you on my shoulders. The house was soon reached and Mai Loi went inside while Kabir waited for her outside the door. Delighted to see her and unable to believe his good fortune, the grocer nevertheless noticed that Mai Loi's slippers, despite the rain, had no mud on them and were not wet. How is it that you walked through the muddy street, he asked, and yet there is not a trace of mud on your slippers? There is nothing to wonder at, she replied. My husband, Kabir Sab, carried me here on his back and is now waiting for me outside the door. On hearing the name of the great saint spoken, the grocer was suddenly overcome with shame. Going to the door, he begged Kabir to come inside and dry himself. Then, falling to his knees, he begged both Kabir and Mai Loi to grant him pardon. "'Rise up, my good friend,' said Kabir. "'It is a rare man indeed who does not go astray.' Kabir and his wife took their leave, and the grocer sat in his corner far into the night, pondering on what had happened. In the end, he came to the conclusion that there was only one good path to follow in this world, the path of discipleship. In the morning, he sought out Kabir and became one of his most devoted disciples.